Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Transparent Black. Transparent Black is a game that may or may not be a sequel to Confess My Love, another game I've played. Like that game, it features a student in a classroom, and bad things may or may not happen. A regular afternoon after class. A regular classroom in the sunset it basks. Ooh, we're rhyming. A regular story of red, yellow, and blue. Of which merely one color can conclude. Okay, so we're in the game. Not sure what I'm doing and what's even my goal. Even the, the game description was a bit vague, it just said a hopeless girl. So, maybe we're Yandere, who knows. Your assignments aren't finished yet. You have to hurry or you'll be late for your part-time job. There are reference books in this desk. You grope around for a moment. Grope around. It feels something fat and furry. You gulp back a scream. A quick look inside confirms your fears. It's a Furby. There's a dead rat in a pool of blood between the textbooks. Oh, okay guys, very funny. You can hear the sounds of giggling all around you. Oh, so you weren't kidnapped. It's later than usual. Did you get any overtime pay? <laughs> so you didn't earn yourself any. In the case you didn't lie about it. What the? A snake carcass? For real? It definitely wasn't a toy, huh? We better bring the subject to the table then. Talk it through. So it's just bullying. Seems that time when you had your clothes torn, huh? And you just stand there crying. That cost us some serious money. Consider this. Where did they pick on you and not someone else? Yeah, it's like you just picked the worst time in my career. You've been recently returning home later and later. Without bringing in extra income, you plan to run away, aren't you? Seriously, you dare revolt against your father. It seems like you don't realize who is consuming the most. Dad, please, stop beating my sister. I haven't done anything. You still have books to read, right? It says nothing to do with you. Go back to your room now. Then you... This got heavy very fast. A desk with some scratch papers on it. There are extra papers here. Can I just... leave? Is that an option? Blank is busy with her assignments. But it's not to disturb her. Is that a font error? Or is that... Is it literally supposed to be blank? A desk with a paper plane on it. Die blank is written on it. Maybe it is. It's supposed to be blank. Someone's copying another classmate's assignments casually. What are you doing here? Disgusting me to death? Nice try. Eighteen? It seems that you were blissfully of what you were doing then, or are you simply so shameless? I say you should just behave yourself. Splash. <laughs> Look at her! Literally head over heels, not in love, but in water. Was, was that some kind of weird bully pun? It wasn't really that funny. Be careful not to get yourself wet as well, girls. You deserve it. <laughs> nice eyes. So, I guess you'll never say uncle. I got the school bag. You really don't know how to share your wealth with your dearest classmates, do you? Oh, Patches? Is it for real? I mean, for real? Wow, you finished all homework already? But the teacher will get mad when they find you didn't do touch at all this time. Oh, you want it back? Nice try. <laughs> you deserve this. Well, I've seen we've entered a story with no up hope. 
We've lost the end of our heart. Someone is staring at their cell phone with a big smile on their face. You take a photo of me? They're surfing the school forum. They haven't seemed to notice you. You decide to leave her alone. They suddenly burst out into laughter. The cell phone drops from their hands onto the floor. You pick it up instinctively. You're shocked by the photo on the phone. The cell phone is slapped from your hand. You suddenly feel a hot pain on your face. Who allowed you to touch my phone? Oh no, my phone has been defiled. Now I have to consider buying a new one. You could tell me to buy it. What, Photoshop? I have no idea what you're talking about. Hmm. So they were photoshopping fake rumors, if you know what I mean. I heard that Blank has late night part-time job. Really? There's few work opportunities for high school students. Indeed. It said that she lives in a poor family, so she has to take a work-study program. You mean she earned the tuition fee for this elite school? Must be a big deal then. Her job, I mean. What is it? What is it? Ah, oh, please. It's too embarrassing to guess. There's nothing shameful about making a guessing. If you say so, I think it's that so-called compensated dating. What the... But she looks so pure. She's the angel from the men leaving the soaplands. That might be. It seems so horrible to me. Now a sprite? It looks like the same as the girl that the one guy kept trying to confess to. You know, the, the one of the big twists in the end. In the, uh, Confess My Love. So I'm wondering if it's the same girl, and maybe now we're getting the context of her story. It's a trash can. It's full, like my soul. There's a lot of trash and spitballs in it. Just like this world. Oh, so it now seems to make illusions of trash cans in life. Someone watching boys playing basketball out on the playground. They seem really engrossed with it. Are you gonna take a chance to bully me too? Oh, I see how it is. They're pretending that you're invisible. How about we head home together? Keep away from her. Uh, what's wrong? Keep yourself away from this jinx. Pardon? Don't you know? Who blank who fancied her became a sacrifice. Was it her fault? I wonder if that was the main character from the previous game. Who knows? She's been so indifferent about it. Maybe she wishes all of us were dead as well. That's a bit overstated. If we stay together with her, we won't play with you anymore. That's... Extreme petty? Windows. The playground is outside. The dark sunset irritates. So I heard the translation for this was pretty bad. But maybe they fixed it by the time I'm playing, so it's not... It doesn't seem too awkward. You remember that? That masterpiece? Ha! Huh. Indeed. Hee <laughs> hee! Someone's chatting happily. They didn't even notice you. Oh, the prima donna's here. You want to run to inform us of your arrival? We all know that you have great grades, but could you please tell us how you manage that while still being such a bitch? I'm curious about that too. Maybe our grades suck because we can't keep our minds in class while there's someone like her in the classroom. No, it's just because you're all lazy and suck. Uh, I understand that feeling. Do grades really make that much of a difference? This girl always looks so confident all day, every day. Yes, they do. But what if it's all a facade? How could someone be so superficial and yet be such a schemer at the same time? Oh, that's the point. My bad. Exactly. Wee hee. He. Blank is so disgusting. That's right. She sees herself as being extraordinary somehow, being favored by these teachers who will never see her as a bitch she is. I find her disagreeable myself. I'm not the best boy in class, Blank, feel for such a... Ugh, I cried about him for days. Yeah, that's definitely the main character. I'm gonna confess my love. I think that about she's gonna get what she deserves. Hmm. She deserves retribution, doesn't she? I guess so.
You're all just jealous because I come from a poor household, yet I'm still wildly much more successful than you. Showing that it is effort, not stature and birth, that matters. There's so many books and stationaries in it. File cabinet, it's locked. Like my soul. There's something to review. This classroom's pl plant. There's signs that it's been moved before. Hmm. Fun correction tape? What is correction tape? Exercise books have been put here pretentiously. Scratch paper. It's my desk. Assignments. Unfinished test papers. Paper plane. Monitor's desk. No books in place where it contains the key to the cabinet. Someone is gobbling down cakes. Crumbles are falling everywhere. Ugh, blank. Hi there, would you like some cake? Just kidding, I'm not giving you any. You can't even afford it. I mean, you don't deserve it. Psst, have you heard? But what? Blank died because of buying a cake for his crush. What? It can't be. Didn't you check the photo? The cake box is pretty recognizable. It, it is. I hear and heard that love, I love you blank was written on the cake. It makes me so angry. Blank wasn't killed by that slut. We could have become lovely dovey. No. So you're all dead on the inside. Blank doesn't even feel compassion for Blank, nor his affection. Uh, why couldn't it have been her who died? Exactly, Blank, such a gentleman. He died because of this. This is a disgusting word. Hope she's cursed to never be loved again. Everyone's so malicious. Jiminy crickets. Enough. There's no reason to keep enduring this. To this world in black. Without anything to deter you. The file cabinet. It's locked. Do I have a key? Hold up. Let's go back here. Took the key. Unlock the cabinet. Someone's leaving. You rummage for the drawer. You found a knife. I see where this is going. You move the flower pot. You found the key to the front door under the flower pot. You've locked the door. Welcome to this wonderful killing chamber. You first. Hmm? What's that for? Are you gonna cut the cake for me? <laughs> oh, those give me a cake cutting, alright. You'll get the point of that joke in a second. Well, you think you could frighten me? Yep. Murder! Don't you dare get any closer, you murderer! Where are the doors locked? Help! Help! Hmm. Well, this is interesting. Where are you going? Come on! Boy. You guys have just all lined up in the corner, haven't you? It's a little sad. Uh, 
Come on, come on back. Come on back, where are you going? Hey. Well. This is a story with no uplift or redemption. Died. All dead. A dark black world covered in red. So warm. So pleasing. So happy. I can see the angels smiling naively. Yet, in such an inferno, in this bloody ritual, wasn't I the real devil? And, right over black. So, like Confess My Love, this is a kind of Groundhog Day loop-based game where we're trying to find variations and endings, things we, we do. So, let's see what we can accomplish here. So, we've got some of the hearts black. Because you've earned assignments. This is the one that walks away when we went to get the knife. Are you feeling alright? This is like a friendly person, like the only one in the class. The entire classroom is only like one good person. Then don't exhaust yourself. Let's see your assignments. Are you okay? Your face is pale. Shall we head home early? No? That's fine. Maybe this is her sister or something. Best not to disturb her. Blank, is something wrong? Well, tell me if anything comes up. Blank, tell me what's the problem? Because you notice in the previous ending, she waited till that person left before she started the massacre. So, there's someone important, or they're just the only nice person here. Something the matter. Forget them. I'm right here. I will be here by your side, no matter what happens. You look tired. Let's go home, alright? I will be with you. Oh, don't worry about me. You should have fought more of yourself. So let's pack up and leave. Neko recently pushed out a new strawberry and sticky black rice dumpling. I've been planning to try it out with you. This is kind of one of those, sometimes you just need a nice gesture to make all the difference in the world endings. The long journey for grief and gloominess. With some company, you've reached this final conclusion. Our happiness shall be reclaimed. Smile again. Man, this thing's like cut off. It's like experience the sense when you're watching the dominoes you... Stacked, I'm assuming? And white with black. It's got even a symbolic title. White with black. Kind of like... It's nothing... It's not just pure despair, but there's a little bit there. You know, you kind of take the good of the bad. Kind of just grind through life. With a little bit of kindness. Hey, what did you slap her for? Oh, I'm so sorry about that. They say make an apology superficially. So this time as I'm going for this, they seem to be trying to be nice to me. Were you hurt? It's okay then. Maybe because we got that ending and then we're following it up right away. So, like, all the scenes are the same aside from that, but they always input now. 
I guess we'll watch over here. You didn't put in that one. I guess because there's never really any dialogue tied to it. Or maybe it's because I didn't go to the desk yet. That could be it too, but I feel like it must be tied to the ever ending. Let's see if they comment on this. What was that? Nothing? You tell me if anything comes up. No news is good news, but I'm going back to my assignments then. So yeah, they are definitely commenting on things that they did before. I'll be back from the laboratory soon. It doesn't seem like there's many options except for like killing everyone with some variation though. Well, here we go again. Big news. You're famous enough in the forum, though. Come on, smile. It's like I take a photo. I guess. I guess all their final words are a little bit different. Nothing useful here. I'm trying to think of what we're supposed to do. A gloppy corpse. There's nothing useful here. Disgusting corpse. You've already taken the cell phone. Cell phone she had. Well, I didn't already take it. Just took it now. But you know, it's whatever. A Jane Doe corpse. Something special here. I guess this is if I want to go the typical ending. Cell phone. Try to turn on the cell phone. It requires a lock screen password. Hmm. What about this one? I didn't check this one. Then scraps of paper in the jacket pocket. To damage the reading may require several more pieces to become legible. There's some files on desk. There's nothing useful here. Tidy desk. Clean desk. Desk with a cup on. The desk is a mess. Nothing useful here. Strange smoky scent. Clean desk. Summons the left on the desk. You flip through some of the pages subconsciously. A sketch slips out. Oh. Hello. Looks like Alice with broken wings. Put the drawing back. Oh, we found a spitball inside the desk. So I guess we have to recheck the desks in. It's a trash can. There is a slot trash and spitballs in it. Just like this world. You find out the paper. Written on the paper is. Have you bought the hamster? Yes, but it's kind of cute. Too cute to kill. That's okay. Leave the rest to me. Oh, so it wasn't even a rat. It was a ramp hamster. You need into a ball again. You throw the spitball into the trash can. Some scraps of paper flooded out. You pick them up.
Something's inside this desk. Scrap of paper. We bounced through for a while, we found the correction tape. So, well, we found use for the tape anyway. We try to stick the crap scraps of paper together. It's almost completed now. We tape the pieces together. Prepared paper. Now all the pieces are accounted for. However, you can just barely make out what's written. Written on the paper is... So will you stick to your plan? I mean, all of you. We had nothing to worry about. We didn't like her anyway. Make it quick and clean. Oh, great. Thanks. There are figures in the corner of the reverse sign. 6775 6 7 7 5 Correct. It's the OS desktop. You search around a bit. Photoshop these and publish them to a form, we'll have ourselves a deal, no problem, check this out. You know this portrait. This is just us kind of figuring out why everyone, or how they planned this with bullying day. Is, is that... Like, you made this. I'm not sure if you would call being made, but done, yes. It's okay, blank. Whatever it is, I will be here by your side. Those scum, they deserve it. Whatever you've done, I will handle them. So don't worry about anything. Everything will be fine. I swear it. <laughs> well, this adds another angle. And transparent black. Congratulations, you've collected three endings. X room unlocked. So I think there's some more endings, or at least some Easter eggs, so let's keep going. Why is it always blank? You found an inconspicuous loose leaf paper. There's a lot written on it. Let's see lyric, composer, range, singer Rutia, my dear, my doty at any momentarily. Embrace me and take a good sleep. Your innocent smile and weep. I'll never let you make a second flee. I forget everything about her. May she never remind you of her. The whispering voices of her. Or I'll have her throat blended. For two have been adequated. No one else is needed. I will be the only one to satisfy you. The only one to detain you. Putting a silver shackle on your feet. How long does this go on? So you never commit that again. My dear, my doty, my relief, you're thirsty. That lyric didn't even make sense in like a fun way. By lying in my chest and enjoying my suckling. Okay. There is a smile and weep. You'll never can reach anywhere you I can't see. I'll abandon everything about her. If there's any threat from her. I'm afraid to take you with her. I will care of my own hands. So it's time to surrender. Leave all of you into my hands. I will be the only one to raise you. The only one to prune you. Uh, to turn your wings and scar in them so you never fly again. For two have been adequate. No one else is near. I will be the only one to satisfy. The only one to detain you. Please, selfish, gonna be. So you never come again. So I'm surrender. And then I'll do my chance. Yeah, no. That, I think, literally goes on forever. You've unlocked the door. Now oh, we've actually gone into the hallway. 
No horse play in the corridors. Oh, there won't be any. Dang, I've seen better days. Is this the bonus room? It seems to be a file of game staff. Depends in this pen folder. Character profiles. Blank. Heroin. Senior high. Female. 15 years old. Top student. A meek and kind person. She's a part-time job at her school to support her family. Feels self-abasement for being different from classmates. She's used to enduring it. She holds no special feelings for Blank. After Blank died in an accident after buying her cake, she began to be mentally broken down by classmates who blamed and bullied her for what had happened. Other Blank. Blank's friend. Senior. High. Female. 15 years old. Confusing and mysterious. She was always smiling. Seems grim somehow. She's very assertive and thoughtful. Generally considered as someone special. She has a good family, but plays the role of dummy and classmates. Other students seem to fear her somehow. Blank's only friend. She seeks justice for Blank's plight before it's too late. Other Blank. Absent hero. Senior high. Male. 15 years old. At the time of death. Introvert and as a result, definitely not good of girls. Comes from a rich family and is generous. Very decent person, perhaps too decent. He's surprisingly popular among girls, but didn't know he was regarded as the most handsome boy in the class. He fell for blank, but felt that he wasn't good enough for her. Died in a car accident while planning a confession to her involving a cake. Wrist the balls are thrown in a trash can. Much red paper the bomb. Drip with the girl correction tape. Poster. A torn advertisement for a non-existent third-rate game. Unidentified mysterious animal. It bounces around. Hello there, I'm the author of the game. Considering the body I'm in, you may call me Bunny Dumpling. Mmm. Bunnies. Your red suit makes me uneasy, but it's my job to talk to you. You don't get it? Never mind, I wasn't talking to you anyway. I was talking to the one behind you. The one watching the screen. Hi, how you doing? Manly Mass Hero. Thank you very much for beating this game. So how did you feel after all this? Unhappy. Unhappy? Yeah, that's reasonable. This isn't a game for players to enjoy anyway. <laughs> no, it isn't. This is not happening everywhere, but everyone takes a part in it in one way or another. I mean, the people around you and even yourself. Don't ruin your career over an unworthy cause, please. If you're so unlucky to meet those sort of people, seek some help instead of keeping silent. I hope that we can all become a warm-hearted and strong-minded human beings. Though a certain someone had felt quite warm and fuzzy while drawing the killing animations. She felt regret as soon as she dropped her pen. To be honest, I've never been bullied, so I'm pretty worried whether I've presented the story well enough or not. A little cliche, but, you know, bullying does come in degrees. The game was originally developed to participate in an obscure... Alpha's school competition themed Frenzy, the 66 RPG form. It was finished in quite a hurry. I stayed up all three nights in a row, could have died or something. The competition was postponed for a week, and if it had been, I would have made it in time. It was so close. At first, we wanted to write several endings for the girl on campus bullying scenario, but then we came across a game we had already developed and became a game like this. So that was confess my feelings or whatever. We originally decided to set the boy was the heroine's boyfriend. But soon decided it would be his unrequited love instead. That way the hair wouldn't be bullied severely. So pathetic. Hmm. Anyway, be careful not to paint someone else's heart black. However, think about it. How nice it is to have a friend who's your back. Who supports you and brings you warmth whenever bad things come to pass. Um, I mean about supporting, not stabbing. Be careful with friends regardless. Anyway, the game's plot is concluded. Thank you for your patience. There's some notes on the office table, so feel free to browse if you're interested. I identified mysterious animal called Bunny Dumpling. It's bouncing around. Anything else? Our little speech is ended already. W wait a second. Are you going to... It's only fair. I, I think I'm the principal now. Cut up Bunny Dumpling. It looks like a strawberry glutinous black rice dumpling. Mmm. It smells like one too. Mmm. I'm a monster. I've killed the rabbit.
Bang. Bunny dumpling. Blank, was it you who made this? This is gonna be the same ending, just not killed like the extra room thing. <laughs> It's okay, Blank. Yeah, I think it's the same dialogue. Blood stain. Full of red liquid. But the extent of blood is not present. This place is a fragrance of food. So I guess I kill him, he's dead in all timelines. What a pity, I missed the whole event. Lord M. The year alone of very delicious, Devil H. That was a really Easter eggy, really Easter eggy kind of thing. So I have used my save for my comp completed Confess My Love, and this is, I think, the final secret of this game you get from porting the save over. a way. Oh, so this was your desk then. That's why that weird note was in here. It's from one of the other uh, students who was obsessed with you. So some of the dialogues in that makes sense. Well, that was kind of a little minor nod to that. That's it for Transparent Black. At least for now anyway. There is a DLC, which I currently can't complete despite already playing quite a bit of it. And this is a bug that everyone's experiencing, it's not fixed yet. So when that's worked out, then I'll come back to this game and see what the DLC has. Supposedly it gives like more backstory, which... I mean, we already kind of know what's going on here, just with what we're told. So, it is obviously a direct sequel to Confess My Love or whatever. And we, we kind of see things from the girl's perspective and how... It, it really went downhill. Like, everyone's jealous of her because she's a good student and everything. She had the affection of the rich boy, and just a lot of pettiness and a lot of, frankly, evil. To the point where it's over the top, like, there is real bad bullying out there. I mean, I've seen it firsthand myself. But it, it is written, like, even the, the creator says, like, it, it is written in a way that it's, it's from the perspective of someone who has not gone through bullying a little bit. But it did have somewhat a, a, a nice message hidden there with the kind of friendship ending, despite the friend obviously probably being the demon girl we saw in the previous game. But anyway, it's kind of a sad game overall. I prefer the previous game a bit, because the previous one had a little bit of a kind of satire going there. This one's a little more very dark straight, but overall are both effective in what they're somewhat trying to do, as being kind of like just short, quick kind of shots of storyline, and like a little bit of shock. But yeah. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play Transparent Black. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.